what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Rock and Road Show. It's Alvy. I'm the one three, baby. We are live, live. from the one three bar. Hell yeah. We're together. We're in the same place. We're in the same room. I can actually it's it's <laughs> it's short lived though because I'm actually working next week. But we're gonna have some fun while we're here. We'll play That's cool because I work next week too. Oh, yeah. but you mean I mean I'm gone next week. Ah, uh, so. that's you know you... how that goes. Yeah. So um let me let me fix some colorization here, I think. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay. Eh, so anyhow, yeah. So it's good to be back. Uh, it's good to be back in the uh, in the studio, so to speak. Yep. Uh, yep. Not on a Skype. Not with a delay. Not with you know the lips not matching the the vocal, all that stuff. So that so had anyways, to be weird, man. It was Last extremely week. strange, bro. <laughs> let me get uh, let me get the window up for the comments. Oh man. HD, what's up, brothers? Good seeing you this weekend, man. It's good to finally meet you. Put a face to a name, finally. Oh, you so, met him. Yeah, over at Gibb Town. That's pretty cool, cool, right? Yeah. And then uh, Dan Hopkins, cheers, mate. Welcome to the show. Um, and anybody else that's on there, I don't know. Yeah, just anybody else on there, just say hi, and uh, we'll we'll go on with the show. Okay, let's hit the uh, let's hit the bills, and then we'll go into uh, into the meat of the show, and we'll have some fun today. So yeah, let's do that. All right. So as always, we're brought to you by Misfit Metalworks. Misfit Metalworks offers CNC plasma cutting, welding, metal fabrication, prototyping services, as well as laser engraving. Um, you can contact the uh, Misfits for all your metal needs at 813-598-7409 or stop by the shop at 1913 East Bears Avenue, Unit 1100B. That's in Tampa, Florida, 33613. Please let them know that the Rocking Road Show sent you. Oh, that'd be both of us. Both of us. The one force says, hi, boys. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to exp- we'll well, talk, we'll, talk about we'll that talk in a little bit. We'll talk about that here in a sec. Um, also brought to you by Eric Warren Artistry Dropkick Customs. Eric Warren Artistry is a one-stop shop, basically. Uh, custom fate and fabrication studio that turns your custom dreams into reality. Uh, they offer for everything from paint, metal fiberglass needs, welding, full powder coating, uh, motorcycle stereo equipment, air ride systems, custom wheels, parts development with their Epic line. Uh, you can contact Eric Warren Artistry, 813-503-4764. You can stop by the shop at 13215 North Nebraska Avenue, Suite A, Tampa, Florida, 33612. Also let them know that we sent you. And as always, brought to you by the Franhaus Law Group. Franhaus Law Group provides legal representation for victims of negligence. They handle a broad range of pers- personal injury, wrongful death matters, including car and truck accidents, motorcycle yeah. accidents, slip and fall injuries, and much more. Yeah, for all your legal needs, please contact Fran Hosh at 866-LAW-FRAN or visit lawfran.com. Or you can also stop by their office at 1275 Nebraska Avenue in Palm Harbor. That's uh, 34683. Awesome. Um, Sydney's saying hi. Her and Norm are here. Awesome. Uh, sorry I didn't run into you guys over at Gibb Town. Uh, a few times I, I kind of passed by. I know they were sitting under the Fran Hosh tent, and I passed by. And either y'all were busy talking to some other people I didn't want to disturb or... I didn't see you guys there, so you blew them uh, off. Is that what yeah, you're telling no, me? I didn't didn't blow anybody <laughs> off, but it was it was cool. And I'm going to talk about we're going to talk about Gibb Town here in a little bit, but uh, but I, it was really cool. I, had a, I, had a blast. I really wish I went. Um, I ended up doing a side job. It took me two days instead of the one day that we uh, we quoted them, so I kind of lost money on that gig. But hey, you know my my work. You know, is impeccable, right? There. It's all you know. Your work is always your work is everything, right? Your work is you, and if you're that's not good, then yeah, then you then suck. you don't make money, right? <laughs> you suck. Then you <laughs> suck. Uh, yeah. So it was uh, it was fun, but uh, anyways, let's get into the show. We're gonna talk about something that me and the one three have been milling over for um, the better part of oh. God three months now, I think, or longer, or before. longer. God, I think it's it, it started. I think almost in the beginning of this pandemic crap. Yeah, it really, might have. Really. It might have. So uh, uh, so I'll let the one three kind of introduce what we're talking about, and then I'll kind of explain what it is, and then we'll kind of tie it all together uh, and why we're doing it at this part of the show rather than later on in the show. So. Right. So we decided to try out this cool, interesting idea. It's called Patreon. We want to take the show to the next level. So we went ahead and joined... Um, and that's kind of what we want to do is we want to talk to you all about it. We want to see your thoughts and, uh, you know, hopefully you'll come on board with it because we did join it and we're, we'll see what happens. So some of you may be asking, what the hell is Patreon? Well, it's a way to join an exclusive community of just Rock and Road Show fans. Um, you can receive awesome bonuses for joining the community. We'll get to those in a few minutes. Um, it's 
a few bucks a month or whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to let him tell you all that crap. Uh, but you join it, and it'll help us grow the way we want to grow the show. We want to make it go up for you. We want to take it, take it to the next level. Right. So here's Alvy with all the pertinent information. All the stuff, right? So... So the way this works, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, people use Patreon. Uh, you know, Jasmine Kane has a Patreon. A lot of musicians have Patreons. A lot of pa- uh, uh, um, podcast pages have Patreons. Basically, what it is, it's a way to help, for lack of a better term, term help crowdfund a a show. Really, um, we've got you know we've got our sponsors, and they're they're very good to us, but. We want to continue to grow that, and we feel like um, we have a better way of growing that show organically with the fans and then adding our sponsors into our Patreon uh, situation. So just some things to think about. We're kind of we're kind of milling it about. Like I said, we've, we, we kind of pushed this around and pushed the can down the road for a while, and we finally, you know, I, I was sitting at the computer today, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to launch it. There's no better time than doing it right now. Push so. the button. Uh, so basically, the way this thing works is there's several tiers. I think there's four tiers that I set up. Um, you can join e- at any tier that you want. And basically, uh, they start at $3 a month and they go up from there. Uh, so for less than a Starbucks coffee, right. really, for less than a Starbucks coffee, you can help support us and support support the show that all of y'all come back and watch week after week. Okay. Uh, with your guys' help, truly the sky's the limit and the future is uh, is brighter for having you guys help us. Uh, and right now what we're doing is if you join our Patreon uh, right now to the end of February, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a special show for just those guys that uh, guys and gals that join our Patreon. And what we'll do is we'll actually sit down. It'll be sometime in March because we'll let, you know, we'll let that whole thing go. But sometime in March, we'll do a show just on our Patreon channel and it'll be an ask us anything show. We'll sit down for an hour or so, we'll have some exclusive content that's only going to go out to our Patreons too. And we'll sit down and we'll just have a, a, a conversation. We'll sit down and you guys ask us what you want. If you want to know, you know, whatever you guys want to know about the show, how we started, whatever it is that you want to know, you can ask that. You can ask anything about, you know, I wouldn't say anything about our lives, but you get <laughs> you get the idea. You can ask us just about Come on, man, anything. we're an open book, right? We are we're, an open book. But what do they call it? We're transparent. There you go. But, uh, but yeah, so this is just a way for, for us to reach out to, to you guys and, uh, and, and ask each one of you for just a little bit of help uh, to help us keep bringing you this show. Um, if you would like to do so, I, I, I'll put up a link. Um, it'll be uh, patreon.com slash rocking roadshow. After the show, I'll actually uh, put a link on our Facebook page too so you can go there. You can go to our website, uh, rockingroadshow.com. Uh, there's also a link on the very bottom of the page that you can click. Uh, but yeah, if you want to join us and join the Rocket Russia Patreon page, you can help us grow the show. Um, if you can't, that's cool too. We don't really care. It's uh, we, We're still going to have the Facebook show. The, yeah, the Facebook show is still going to be here every Thursday. Uh, all the Patreon thing does is it, it gives you guys exclusive content. Uh, and the tiers are kind of broken down. Um, if you if you join any at any level... Uh, we will put you guys in a in a um, credit crawl at the end of the show. All your names will go in the end of the show. Uh, we'll also do at the at the beginning of the show when we do our sponsors. We'll also uh, drop everybody. You know, at, it, it'll get to a point to hopefully it'll get to a point to where we can't literally list every Patreon. But uh, as far as being able to do it at the beginning of the show, but right. but if you join if you join, you'll guys will have credits at the end of the show. You guys will be in the credits at the end of the show. Um, and then it kind of goes up from there. There's uh, monthly Ask Me Anything. So if you join at a certain level, me and the one three will sit down and do uh, exclusive content. It says Ask Me Anything, but it'll probably just be a, a special video for all of our Patreon yeah. guys once a month. And then uh, the final tier um, is kind of like a, uh, a, a it's they're all monthly things, but this the the last tier is the highest tier. It's a little bit more, extra, you know, a little extra money, but you get, um, physical things. So after three months, ah. they say, we'll send you a sticker after six months, we'll send you a coffee mug. After nine months, you get a t-shirt. And yeah. after 12, if you, if you stick around for 12 months, we'll give you a hoodie. But you know what? We're still going to have games every now and then you can get prizes. Absolutely. So like I said, you know, the, the Facebook show itself is never going to change. This is going to be us. We're going to be here. Uh, the only thing we hope that changes with it is as those Patreons come on board 
and we make a little bit of a uh, little bit of money, we'll be able to, uh, you know, one of the goals I have set is if we can get 500 Patreons, we'll have that'll be enough money for us to hire a producer so that they, somebody can sit back we, there and we, do all this stuff. We need someone to do yeah, this stuff. Exactly. So I mean, unless someone's out there that wants to come over and do it free. Yeah, that's true too. But because... anyhow, to not beat a dead horse. Patreon is just a way for you guys to help us. So if uh, if you're so inclined, check it out, and uh, and we would we would love you for it. Uh, we love you anyways. But, Absolutely. Uh, but it definitely would help us out and help us grow the show in the ways that we want. So. Yeah, I'm gonna give a couple shout outs real quick while he was talking. I, I noticed some stuff. Dan Lindbergh's on. Dan, thank you. Hey Dan, he what's says, up, brother? He says, "Yo, daddy, yo, <laughs> yo, daddy, yo." Um, Dan Hopkins says he thinks it's a good evolution of all businesses. To be honest, which is really cool. Um, all good, what, what is that? all good content is privately made online, including most internet cartoons, and they stay alive with fellow sponsors from the fans. Now that's true, um, and and we have three sponsors. Yeah, that's it. We have three sponsors, and and we are looking for more. Yeah, we'd love to have more, <laughs> um, but we're asking you guys to sponsor us a little bit, and that's yep. what it is. You know, you're a part of the show, and we want you to be. A part of the show. Absolutely. You know, uh, radio and podcast can even get picked up on Amazon if a popular fan fan base yep. grows. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Huh? Uh, don't forget the bike game. Yeah. That's that. Like I said, the, this show itself is never going to change. Really. If you join the Patreon, you're just going to get some, some exclusive content yeah. that, that everybody else on Facebook doesn't get. That's pretty much all it is. But the actual show, Thursday night show, will be here. It's not going anywhere. We love you guys too much to, to take that away. And we're not that damn greedy. We're just, no. we're really, it's not even, you know, it's not even us trying to make money off it. We're literally trying to put money into this. We're trying to put money into this. We're trying to replace an iPhone and a GoPro with another, you know, couple of DSLRs so that we can have the same look on all of the cameras. Right. All that. It's just stuff going back in the show, yeah. really. So show them your, your view. <laughs> My view. That's, that's Alvy on the, on the uh, GoPro. And then me on the iPhone, that looks pretty good. Yeah, and they all look good. I'm just, you know, you try and color match them and it's just, you know, whatever. But anyways, we digress. <laughs> that is that is Patreon. We'll put some links up so everybody can uh, can hop in and, and, and do that if they want. And if not, like I said, it's all good. We love you anyways. And we yeah, will, um, you know, we, we, are, we are here and we're not going anywhere. So, uh, so thank you for that. Uh, we'll we'll put that out to everybody again over the next few weeks or so. Yeah. But we're not going to be one of those guys that's going to sit here and just keep droning it on and on and on. We'll just let it grow organically. And, and if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, again, it doesn't. It doesn't. So no, yeah. not no big deal. Uh, but anyhow, that is Patreon. Thank you for listening to our uh, sales pitch. <laughs> our little rant. It hopefully, is sales pitch. hopefully it wasn't too terrible. <laughs> Uh, but here, Scott Flowers. Hey, hello. What's up, Scotty man? Hey, um, I'm gonna drop this in here if anybody would like to go check out. Scott's uh, the racetrack we dude, right? You're the racetrack dude, right? If I remember correctly. I believe so. Yeah. We really need to talk <laughs> because I think we're gonna be we're gonna be up that way in May. May. -ish, we're gonna be up there. in. We're gonna do the uh, uh, boots on the ground. Yep. So we're gonna be up there in May, and we really, 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 really want to come <laughs> see you. All right, so um, so with that, um, this is going to be a show. I was kind of talking to one three about it. This is going to be a show of updates, so to speak. Yeah. Um, you know what? I don't remember. Let me double check something real quick before I jump into all this. Yeah, you know what? We'll go because we'll, the second story kind of yeah. has a lot to do with it. So, yeah. So, as you can see here uh, on the ticker there, we have an update of the museum in Austria, in Austria uh, that went up in flames. Yeah, um, the uh, Austrian authorities have confirmed the museum was burnt to the ground. Massive loss. It, uh, I mean, what a prestigious collection just gone now. All of it, yeah, it sucks, man. So even though the local firefighters were able to pit, to quickly respond to the blaze, the fire spread across the entire museum within a few minutes. The structure was gone, full of blaze. Yeah. Ah, uh, man. So they they. They just concentrating traded. I'm sorry, man. They just concentrated on preventing the flames from spreading to the neighboring buildings, which luckily they succeeded. The restaurant was was spared. The the uh, cable car station was slightly damaged, but you know the the smoke and extinguished water. But that's easy. They can get rid of that stuff. <laughs> um, so the the museum was entirely lost, and all the contents following the um, yeah. 
all of, all the contents were gone. gone yeah. Um, we're gonna throw a video real quick. This is a video that was found on Facebook from uh, Carol Berger uh, as they walked through. Hopefully, this video launches. But as they walked through the uh, <coughs> the museum, so oh. we'll po- we'll play the video and we'll talk about it as as it's going. So. So you can see here, these are these are all the bikes oh. that were in the museum. Um, there, I mean, there isn't a single one there that doesn't look like. I mean, not, I don't think any of this stuff is salvageable. Um, it shows, you know, the video shows extensive damage to all 230 motorcycles that were in the museum. A uh, a total loss, as you can see, a complete loss. Um, you know. Just we were talking, we talked about this last week, and we kind of were hoping that there was going to be something that came out of this that we, you know, that a, a bike or two would have made it, but something. Uh, but unfortunately, as you can see, just going down the line, I mean, just hundreds and hundreds of bikes just absolutely destroyed, oh, man. scorched beyond recognition. I mean, just absolutely terrible. Yeah, there's no bringing them back. No, there they're, really they're, isn't. They're, I mean, there's just nothing, nothing that you can do there. It's, it's, it's a sad, sad situation. Um, we talked about it last week, but among some of the uh, destroyed bikes, there were vintage models from uh, MV Augusta, Zundop, Matchless, um, Sunbeam, Triumph, and more. So there's the uh, that was the video there. Um, Sadly, it also appears that the 23 million euro wooden museum structure was not fitted with a single sprinkler uh, to combat the fire from within. So um, I don't know how that plays into insurance or any of that, any of that mess. But yeah, no, no sprinklers on it. Hence why that thing went so just, just like a powder keg, right? Um, Mm -hmm. as we said too, luckily there was no loss of life. Yes. And as we found out, uh, the restaurant adjacent to it was saved and the cable car, uh, were also saved by the firefighters. Um, impressively a caretaker who was there attempted, uh, in vain at the end of it all to stop the blaze with a fire extinguisher before the firefighters were able to take over at the scene. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's really sad, really tough. It's, um, you know, a, a, a tragic loss of some really cool machines, really. Yeah. You know, you know, and speaking about no lives being lost, you know, they say that uh, material things can be replaced. But in reality, mm-hmm. these material things cannot be replaced. These were irreplaceable. Yeah, completely irreplaceable. I don't know why this camera zoomed out on you. Look at that. You get everything, right? <laughs> yeah, man, you get everything. <laughs> Trying to just get there you we know, go. my... my you know, the uh, upper area, right? I don't know why that's whatever. not. Anyways, but um, but yeah, I mean, a complete, complete total loss. Yeah. Un- unfortunate, Same. and it's just, you know, it's just the way it goes yeah. there. Um, uh, Scott saying suspect, I say. HD, very, very sad day. You know, you're thinking what I'm thinking. Yeah. You know. I was, I, I was thinking it. I, you know, I would say this, maybe... But, but why? Maybe. I mean, they, it, maybe, maybe they have some. Want... Maybe they have. I mean, I'm sure they've insured some of those things, right? They they well, would... they insured them all. Right. They were all insured. I'm sure. Um, you have to think about well. The the people who had the most to gain out of that. I just don't. I just don't see that. I I look at it in my eyes. I look at it this way. That <laughs> okay, maybe that. Uh, Thanks, Dan. I appreciate it. <laughs> the um, the museum was set to open like three or four it's days later. Eyes. Yeah, this the museum was set to open in three or four days. Right. I I believe that it was somebody there going to start moving because it didn't look like the bikes were set up like in a like that video that they just went through right walking through it. It didn't look like they well, were. Well, you have to yeah, remember like, those were wooden pallets. They just put them on the wooden pallets. What happened to yours? I don't know, man. You know what? We're back to this again. We're just going to stay here. I don't, this is why we need a producer. Um, anyhow, uh, apparently, yeah, whatever. So, you know, they're all on pallets. So they were moved to be stored. They weren't, they weren't on, unless. No, they were put on those pallets after the fact. Those were wooden pallets that would have burned up in the blaze. This is true. You're right. 
Good Come point. on, go back to your good naval um, yeah, 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 firefighting. Yeah, yeah, good point. And... All right, so I didn't think about <laughs> it that way, but um, but but still, the way I look at it is, I think that I think somebody went there to get the museum ready to go, right? And they turned on a heater, boiler, or whatever, or turned the lights on, and there was a electrical short. spark or short, or whatever, and that's what the they did say. It's a fire. wooden structure. Yeah. So I mean, it being a wooden structure, it could have anything could have happened. I mean, honestly. They were. They could have had a space heater, while he was doing whatever, mm -hmm. or, or she, or whatever, left it on. Look, I don't. I don't want to ever think that somebody did it on. Purpose. Somebody would have done that on purpose. I mean, yeah, owners have all the game. You're right there, Scott. Yeah, they they do, man. Yeah, I mean, they for sure they do. But I mean, but again, the structure isn't doesn't have sprinklers in it. That's gotta that's gotta mess with any kind of insurance. I would. I would believe. Well, yeah. The, and, and with that, I would say... I mean, I don't know, you know, I don't know what... We don't know what the codes are over Right, there. exactly. Codes over here, you're required. Right. Codes in, in Austria may not be required. Yeah. So... Uh, insurance companies will send an investigator to... For any, so, yeah, I mean... They will. There's there's a lot. There's a lot there. There's, there, I mean, you, everybody, you know, you could armchair quarterback this thing to the, to the nth degree. I, I just, like I said, I just really would hate to, to find out. If it does, in fact, come out that somebody did this, oof, you know, oof. on purpose to collect insurance money. Or, you know, or the other side of it could be that, hey, maybe, maybe it's an arson. You know, maybe somebody just hate, was hated jealous. the owner or just jealous because he had all these bikes and he, they lit it on fire. Yeah. I mean, you know, so... I, I don't want to. I don't want to get into that. I don't want to speculate into that. That's that's some really dark devious, shit. Let's dark just say kind of dark shit. shit. Yeah. and I kind of don't want to think about. Let's it just say that, it was an way. accident, and it sucks. <laughs> yeah. So um, we'll leave it at that. But looking, you know, looking at those bikes, not I, none of those are none of those are salvageable. I mean, yeah. you're never. Yeah, they, they're they're done. Um, yeah. There was a hope that maybe one or two would come out of that, but. Uh, I didn't see a single one in that. There was nothing unless unless they you know unless they put all those over there because they're because they're junk now and they have a couple. But I doubt it. it that well, looked they, like two hundred and thirty motorcycles yeah. there in that pile. So, a couple hundred bikes, man. It, yeah, they, you know, Scott, I, I agree. You know, space heater or lighter with uh, fuel. Yeah, you know, you never know, man. We're just gonna put that to bed, not worry about it anymore. Um, I do want to give a shout out because I just looked in the. Uh, on the screen, and I saw my shirt. Yeah, you know, demons behind me. I don't know if you all have ever seen them, talked to them, or anything. But you need to go check out their website. Good dudes, it's they are. They I saw are a couple. Dudes. Saw a couple of their shirts out at uh, Gibb Town this yeah, weekend. Too. Yeah, they um, good people. Check them out if you ever see them at a uh, at an event. Go yeah. talk to them. Go talk to them. They're they're very um, uh, approachable. Very uh, and they'll tell you some friendly. stories. They go to their website. Go to their Facebook page. Demons behind me and. Uh, Read because it's it's very touch, touching, you know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I, I'll digress from that. Um. All right. So uh, HD will get a kick out of this one too. But uh, <laughs> so we spoke last week oh, on um the Florida Department of Transportation grant to the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office uh, for one hundred ninety five thousand dollars. That was for motorcycle safety awareness. Um. I think it was two weeks ago we brought it to you guys. But yeah. yeah. Um. So, Wasn't it here? Yeah, it was here. It was the show we did here. God, so that's three. It's weeks. been a while, uh, but so yeah. So the grant was to be used for. It was going to assist with enforcement efforts. Yep. Right. Distribute educational materials to drivers. Pamphlets. Yep. More on that in a second. And purchase up to fifteen additional uh, radar units and fifteen laser units for speed monitoring. Yep. Okay. Now, we talked about this. A couple weeks ago, we talked about how this was a, a a ruse, a ploy, so to speak, to hide that's speed what enforcement. That's what I'm thinking. In a motorcycle grant, okay, that's what we all thought. Now, we were I was at Gibb Town, and the ACSO was out there. They oh. were they were in full force. They were um, you know they were out there directing traffic. They actually entered a, or uh, they were asked to enter one of their motorcycles for the bike show. I saw that. They won. They won. Which is cool. And uh, they but won. Well, hold on. 
I'm going to say their bikes are badass. Oh, their bikes are beautiful. I mean, they're, they're, they are and, very nice bikes. And this one was kept pristine. Yeah. It, and it's a daily ride. Yep. Yeah, a daily and it rider. Was pristine. And I only know that because I saw the pictures. Yeah. No, guy was, guy, the, you know, it was, it was really cool. And, and, uh, from what I understand, uh, they, they, the guy went up to take the award on behalf of the H- HCSO and they, people in the fan, you know, the people in the crowd were chanting HCSO, awesome, all man. kinds of stuff. So it looked like, it was a really cool, um, you know, really cool deal. Uh, but so when I get to Gibtown, I get inside. By the way, uh, that place was packed. It was packed. We're not going to talk about it. it We're was, not going to talk about the other thing. <laughs> it was packed. But <laughs> everybody had a blast. Everybody was respectful. I, you know, at no point in time did I, I mean, I didn't feel uncomfortable, you know. I had I had a I had a um, yeah, a, a little, gator a neck gator right? if I needed it I put I didn't wear it but but I was, I was outside but you but you were you kept your social distancing oh yeah yeah and, no all know. that I mean I, like I said I didn't feel uncomfortable at all while we were there um, but it was packed yeah. it was it was packed so we got I get in and uh, as soon as I get in um, yeah I, I, I we park I, I get on the Facebook and let everybody knows here. I he asked where I was and told him I was on my way in that I was going to find Eric Horn. And uh, so I round the corner and I, and you know, I hear Alvy and I turn around, get to meet HD. We sit and chat for a little bit and he's got this piece of paper and I'm like, what you got there? And he's like, it's what y'all talked about last week. And I'm like, huh. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, recall, recall. <laughs> and he goes, the, 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 the grant for the, the sheriff. So I'm like, Oh, so he had the paper in his hand. He had a piece of paper. I, and I meant it sucks because I meant to bring it today, and when I left the house, like about halfway here, and I realized I left it sitting HD, on my. HD, you gave it to him to no, bring no, no, it. no, no, no. The, the, I got, I ended up getting you one. You got one, yeah. okay. <laughs> but I forgot to. I for, it's sitting, it's sitting on my countertop at the at, at the house. I had one. I had a whole bunch of them, but I don't know where the hell they are. So what it was, okay. This now again, this was a grant for motorcycle safety awareness. Mm-hmm. Can I ask you because the the pamphlet I got. Was telling you about felonies, yes, and misdemeanors. Same thing. It was violations. That's what it all is. it was. Was hey, this is what this is what you can get a ticket for if you're on a motorcycle. Yeah, and, okay. and there was a, there were there were two sheriffs sitting on a bike or sitting around a bike, and it looked like a ticket book, and he was just ripping them off and passing them out. Now, <laughs> again, now we you know <laughs> social prior prior to this. Prior, prior to this topic coming up a few weeks ago, um, or I shouldn't even say that. When when I, when I we found this story, mm-hmm. we saw Grant for Motorcycle Safety Awareness. We we're like, excellent. This is awesome. This is, needs to be done. Blah, That's blah, where blah, we blah. were going. Read the article, and we we're like, That's not what we're That's thinking. not what this is. And then you get in. <laughs> HD, mine got washed. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> mine would have had I not thought, I need to bring this for the show. So... Uh, so yeah, uh, had it not been for um, the radar units and all that stuff, and then and then getting the, the 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 pamphlet for motorcycle safety awareness, and it was if you don't have a rear seat for a passenger, you can get a ticket. If you yeah. drive without a motorcycle endorsement, and, you get a ticket. And it tells you what are misdemeanors. Yeah, they're in red. And in black is the uh, felonies or vice versa. Moving like, violations, all this stuff. Wow. It was... It's the same one I got. Dude, So it, they already had them. They already had them. They didn't need that money. They didn't need it. So, <laughs> so what I will say is this. While the Rocking Road Show loves our boys and girls in blue. Yes, we do. We are pro Leo. We back you guys up to the nth degree. Yep. You guys, I shouldn't even say you guys. Mr. Chronister, if you ever watch this, y'all did a press release saying that you guys were were getting a grant from F dot for motorcycle safety awareness, and I call shenanigans. I do. I call shenanigans. I'm gonna just call bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. There is nothing within this grant, the money that was used within this grant, that would stipulate motorcycle safety awareness. Y'all could have handed out pamphlets that said Look both ways twice, and it would have been more related to motorcycle safety than what you freaking handed me the other day. They're giving people a pamphlet that says if you do this. So, so you know what you know what um, the bikers are doing. Bikers are going hmm, check mark. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Check mark, check mark. Two times on that one. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> That's the most doing. the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen. And and for and for the state government to wrap this whole grant and this whole let look, let me wrap this up. Back this up. <laughs> for the for the state government to wrap this speed enforcement bill grant grant into motorcycle safety awareness is a freaking travesty and y'all should be embarrassed of yourselves. It's period. It's BS, man. It's bullshit. Off my soapbox, I'm done. We won't bring that story up anymore. I wanted to bring it up just because what I got and I was I was so I I wanted the funny thing is, is He's when not off his no, soapbox. <laughs> the funny thing is, is when the sheriff, when the sheriff deputy handed me the 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 piece of paper, and I looked at it, and I saw what it was. I wanted to go, wow, one hundred ninety five thousand dollars, huh? This is what this is what you it was. Have. I should have said something, but I was like, you know what? I'll just you I'll know what we need to do. This. Honestly, call their PR guy or woman, whatever. Yeah, call their P- because they can't talk to us, but their PR rep can. We need to call HCSO and talk to their PR person and actually ask them, hey, tell me, what else? There's got to be more. Yeah, Something gotta, that's not written down. There's got to be some more pamphlets somewhere that we haven't given out yet or something. I don't know. Norm, Norm agrees calling BS. Yeah. yeah. It was just, again, the only reason we're talking about it again is because it happened this weekend at Gibtown and I, I just laughed. At it, at it. It was the most. <laughs> it was the most ridiculous thing I've ever, I've ever seen. But well, on the other, well, so well, you know what? Forget all that. Forget that. Just yeah. Go back to Gibtown. Yeah. No, I was gonna go. Tell me. Tell me yeah. about Gibtown. So Gibtown, I was didn't a, get to go. Yeah, Gibtown was a blast, man. Um, like I said, tons of tons of people. It was. It was. Uh, you could tell. You could tell that people are sick of oh, not oh, being oh. able to do anything. Oh yeah. You can tell. Um, the, like I said, the amount of, I, dude, if I had to guess on Saturday, I mean, there were probably thousand, 2000 people there. That's all. I mean, how many, that's a rough how many number. bikes do you guesstimate when you were going in? Oh, Cause dude. there was multi, multiple parking lots and there yeah. had to be more than a thousand people. If you're thinking two up, you know, employees, everything because it trying. was it was it was packed it yeah. was packed i i mean but it's hard you know it's kind of hard to tell too because that those those grounds are um they're they're big right you know, that that whole area it's there a is big. huge so, compound um yeah i mean I, I i was thinking it's definitely you know two two three thousand people in my opinion it was there were a good amount of people it, it kind of reminded me it kind of reminded me of like a busy day at the state fair oh shit yeah and I mean, obviously, there's more people to stay for here because there's more right area. Mm-hmm. But it was kind of you know just you were just there was a lot of folks, a lot of folks. But um, but again, like I said, everybody was respectful. It was it was very uh, it was very nice. I, I I had a blast. We had a blast. Me and Kim were there. I really um, wish I could have joined you. I wanted to, yeah. but I, I had that job. I had to do. Um, we got there. the The main reason we went really was because we wanted to see Stone Gray play. We hadn't seen him. We hadn't seen him. Pre since pre this is like your band. What, oh yeah, no, those guys. Do you have a shirt yet? No, I need to get one. So um, if they're watching, because yeah. you know they they are fans. Yeah, we we would like some. They uh, shirts. no, that was because we hadn't seen them prior to COVID. Really, um, all right. Should, once COVID happened, we hadn't seen them, and we we saw they did a couple like online concerts and whatnot. Right. Yep. So we found out they were playing. We're like, let's go. We'll get on the bikes. We haven't been on the bike in a while. Let's get on the bike. Let's go enjoy the day. And uh, man, we had a blast, dude. Stone Gray killed it. No, you know, my my only my only gripe was that they only got to play for about an hour, hour and fifteen minutes. Short set. So it was a real short set, but they they killed it, man. They played uh, they played a lot of their own original stuff. Uh, they sprinkled in some uh, you know some covers and whatnot. But dude, they <laughs> killed it. It was a blast. Um, you know, some of you guys were able to watch. Uh, watch them because I, I I recorded a little bit of it, and went live with for everybody. And if you haven't seen them. Or, the, or our interview on them. Yeah. By all means, go to too. our page. We have an interview, and it says Stone Gray interview. I was going to ask: Is there any songs they played that they didn't like to play? No, I don't think they. Any, they don't, I don't think they played any of the in, like War Pig or any. They didn't play War Pigs. <laughs> if I have to play War Pig, yeah. one more time. No, but you know what's funny is uh, is um, oh, I just lost his name. Um, the bassist, I can't think of his name right oh, now. Oh shit, Dylan. Dylan I think uh, is it Dylan? 
Yeah, I think it's Dylan. 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 Uh, uh, I did, if it's not, I apologize. But Dalton. Dalton. You're right. There it is. Dalton. Good job. Uh, but yeah, Dalton. Uh, TBI. His, his, his hair is that. his hair is long as hell. Now. Is it long? Yeah. Now? So they all all four of them have long hair again because he had, he had them, short you know it was, it was shoulder length. But uh, but yeah, he's got he's got some pretty long hair now. So awesome. Uh, but no, so Stone Gray was great. They played they played awesome. I ran into so many people there, man. HD was there. Uh, I ran into uh, Miss Robin Williams. She was out there with a, awesome. with a bunch of her friends. Good. Um, I was I tried to run into Sydney and Norm, but uh, but it didn't work out. I ran into Bobby Ayler's and and um, um, Ray. Yeah, and Ray. Sorry, Ray. Uh, <laughs> he, he was out there. Um, Ray was our co-host one night. Yes, he was. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the, uh, it was it was fun. We just run into a bunch of people. Um, went and talked with uh, with Eric. Eric said his uh, he had his whole deal up there. Him and Matt were set up, and um, you know it was uh, it was good to see everybody. Man, hadn't seen Eric in a while, so it was good to see him. Um, good. Just you know, it was fun, man. We you had know, a blast. You know who we haven't seen in a long time, and we really need to make an effort to go out there. Misfit. Yeah. We see yeah. Marvin. And, yeah. And Jen. Absolutely. But uh, but no, man, we had blast. We 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 didn't stay very. You know, I shouldn't say we. We didn't stay the whole time. We got there around, I don't know, 11.30 noon, something like that. And then uh, we bounced out of there about 4.30, I think. It looked like the weather was kind of going to get a little bit nasty. little bit nasty. I don't think it ever did rain, but um, but on our ride home, we got a little couple of raindrops. It wasn't yeah. bad. But, um, but, yeah, we got back to our side of the world and um, stopped over at Soggy Bottom, had a couple beers there. Nuh-uh. And, um, and <laughs> then went home, man. We had a blast. It was fun. It was a great time. Uh, if you guys were out at Gibb Town uh, and I and I ran into you guys there, it was awesome to see you. If I didn't run into you, I apologize. Um, um, it's just still awesome. <laughs> yeah, but it's still awesome. You guys were there and having fun. Like I said, man, I just think everybody is legitimately sick of not being able to do. Look, something. I tell you what, I I work in a hospital. Most people know that. We're all sick of it. Yeah, in, in the hospital, we're all sick of it. Now there are the few that I've seen that have double masked and goggles and. And a face shield, and yeah. you know you have those people, um, but for most of it, m- even the ones that directly deal with the COVID patients, um, yes, they wear their PPE like they're supposed to and stuff. But the the masks, we are the, I don't know why, but not I, I can't say we're the only country because everybody's doing it now. But why would you mask the healthy? No, yeah. You let's always, not get on this. Let's always, not get on this topic. I know, I'm just saying it right now. I'm just saying it right now. <laughs> way, way too polariz- polarized. I agree. Uh, I agree. But so yeah. we're all sick of it. Yeah. No. But it just I, like I said. I think people are just ready to be out, man. Yes. Uh, HD. Great meeting you. Absolutely, man. It was awesome. I like I said. It's great oh to my see, god. Uh, Speak of the job. Yeah. Great to great to put a face to a name. And uh, yeah, just talking about uh, Miss Jen over. Miss Jen, her. we were talking about you and Marvin a second ago. Just that we miss you guys and we we'd like to see y'all so soon uh dan saying i do envy you both uh being able to go out the UK yeah here won't oh be yeah out of lockdown till the summer really dan, dan. they're still oh, dude dude i'm so sorry that man. sucks bro come to uh, the states man I'll, you can stay in my house <laughs> just just get the hell out of the uk for a little bit that's brutal, man. Ship your summer. bike over. You got this, man. Come on. <laughs> are they accepting people from the UK? I think we are. I, I mean, we already have the second variant here anyway, so what does it matter? Yeah. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. But My wife won't mind. You can stay in my bar. That's my studio. <laughs> but, uh, That's where we're at now. Yeah, man. That sucks, dude. That's brutal. Um, I think... <laughs> I, I got I to gotta be honest. I think I think the US is uh, is coming out of it. I think um, I think that's kind of the way it is. Want to be stateside so badly. Hey man, <laughs> you're more than welcome. Anytime you want to come out. Uh, but yeah, I just I think I think we're gonna do just driving over here. Like the amount of people coming home from work and stuff oh, yeah. like that. It's back. It's kind of back to normal now. Dude, I'm gonna tell you something. I coming home from work. I've I've noticed in the past month. It's been yeah. about the past month that the traffic has increased. I I get off at three thirty in the afternoon. And just coming the 10 miles on one road, I'm on Bruce B. Downs, one road all the way down. The traffic's horrendous. Mm-hmm. Horrendous. No, Bruce B. Downs has always been terrible, no. though. But during all this, la- like, oh, yeah. from yeah, a yeah, month yeah, back, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's been like a, pff, every Smooth light. Boom, right, boom, right, boom, right, boom. right, right, right. There's 24 lights on Bruce B. Downs from my house to work. Is there really? Yeah. Dude. It's like, 
Actually, I think there was um, 20. Dude, that's 21 or 22. <laughs> I never realized there were that many. Count them one day. Jesus. To, from here, <laughs> from here, all the way to um, to the VA hospital. Count every freaking light. Damn. And there's 20, 21, somewhere around there. Wow. I know I said 24, but that was an exaggerate. A little over, but that's all right. Um, that's crazy, man. But yeah. Ridiculous. So, yeah, I think I think stuff's kind of starting to come back to normal here in the States. At least in Florida, it's it's getting there. We're, yeah, we're we're pretty close yeah. to being normal. So we'll see what uh, what happens after the Super Bowl. I think would be kind of the <laughs> that's the big one, right? Because that's sitting sitting up here. Well, I will say um, um, the the mayor of Tampa has strict guidelines that we're supposed to be following. Oh yeah, everyone that goes to the Super Bowl will get a KN ninety five mask. I saw that. Everyone that goes to Super Bowl will get wipes to to sanitize. Everyone that goes there will be social distancing. They got it all planned out. Yeah. Everything's so Dude, if you if you got ten grand to go to that thing, have fun. That's the cheapest ticket. They were six. Um no, I will say the cheapest ticket is if you are a healthcare worker. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wanna congratulate those people. Honestly, local, there's seventy five hundred. Yeah, but they're not all local. They're they're from all over the country. Okay, well there's gonna be seventy five hundred Tickets from from the NFL to go to the Super Bowl for healthcare workers that have had both, not just one, both of the uh, the vaccinations. Uh, unfortunately, if I was going to do it, I would have had to have my shot, my first one by the twenty fourth. <laughs> so I'm I can't even so, uh, but I would have put my name in. I know a couple of my my coworkers that have they were able to put their name in, and they're gonna go. They if if they get it, they're going. Free ticket. Yeah, free ticket. One free ticket, yeah, not two. Yeah. One. No, that's cool though. Good on, get on the NFL for. I mean, oh no, I, I, I kudos to that man. NFL is doing a good thing, um, especially the healthcare workers, and it's not just the nurses and and such. You know, like I, I'm sorry, this is my soapbox. All you hear, doctors, nurses, nurses. Yeah. First, you know, oh my gosh, they are the they are like right there. They're the front line workers. No, no, most of your nurses are actually working from home. Okay, most of them, uh, doctors as well. The frontline workers are the EMS guys, the the uh, the housekeeping, um, the plumbers, me, <laughs> the electricians, the um, carpenters, the elevator guy, uh, anything to do with the operation of that hospital. Yeah, we never stopped. Yeah, we can't work from home. Right. Every one of us, we are actually, and we do go to the rooms. You know, they say, oh, but you don't ever go. We are in every freaking oh, yeah. room. I myself have been in several COVID rooms. You know, I mean, it's like you, you dress out, you do your thing. They've given us lots of training, lots of PPE. I love it. But this is my soapbox. You never hear about us, the actual maintenance part. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Nurses, doctors, first responders. Yeah. Love you guys. <laughs> I really do. Oh, for sure, yeah. But, you know, we, us... You never hear. We're 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 you're the peasants. We are, <laughs> but without us, if we don't go yeah, to work, no, for sure, yeah. If we don't go the to work, it doesn't work. Nobody goes to work. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Dan, now there's a third mutant strain from Brazil that's now more, as the news have said, is now even worse. Like, oh, another one from Brazil. Awesome. Um, yeah. Whatever. I'm so ready for COVID to be done. Um. Sydney's saying they have several friends who got chosen local ones in awesome. X-ray tech. That's cool, man. That's awesome. I I, I, I don't know anybody personally, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's jump into events, and we'll wrap up the show, and we'll have everybody have a good night, and hopefully everybody enjoys their weekend this weekend. Yeah, man. Um, okay. So the first one coming up, uh, this is uh, this is a um, firefighters, or I'm sorry, firemen's poker run and bike giveaway. Um, February 13th. At twelve thirty to eleven PM. Yeah. Wow, man. It was from six to eleven and then I looked and saw they changed it. But it's at Salty Shamrock and Apollo Beach. All proceeds are going to support the Riley family as well as twelve responders, which is a five oh one three C. Uh if you want to go, the event is uh, thirty dollars per person. That includes one sheet which has three hands on it, uh one full color commemorative t shirt, an event patch, and a free raffle entry. You can get additional hands for ten dollars. They're also giving away a nineteen ninety five eight eighty three Sportster. Oh, cool! Um, poker run prizes are two hundred dollars and some merch, one 
hundred dollars and some merch for second. Third place is fifty dollars and some merch. Uh, Tampa Bay area cruisers are the ones putting on the event. Um, there's going to be some events too. A slow race, a slow race with couples, so a two up slow race. Whoa, that'd be tough. Uh, a chocolate heart grab, so think of your hot dog grab, a weenie grab, but it's with a chocolate heart instead. Uh, prizes for that are 50, 25, and 15 with some merch as well. Live music from Soul Circus Cowboys. Now, this is the part here. Uh, I'm going to read all of this because I think it's important. Um, I just, I'm going to, I'm going to put, uh, okay. let me, let me go. How do I want to do this? Um, I want to do it this way. So, uh, I contacted, uh, Micah from Tampa Bay area cruisers because right. there was a GoFundMe or there is a GoFundMe for the Riley family. Okay. I'm trying to get that GoFundMe to put a link in the show so we can share the link because it's, I think, super important here. Um, Okay. What, wait, Dan, what What do you mean, wait, Bike View News? What's he talking about? <laughs> um, I guess Fire and Iron are going to be at that event. We're going to be there as well. Um, but, okay, so real quick. On March 27, 2018, Jimmy Riley was diagnosed with a grade 4 glass glioblastoma. Um, this is one of the most aggressive types of brain cancer. After mm -hmm. brain surgery and several months of chemo and radiation... Jimmy went into remission. Him and his family enjoyed almost a year of remission until November of 19 when the cancer returned. After the recurrence, Jimmy was fortunate enough to be involved, I don't, I think there's a typo, but in some kind of infusion trial at Duke University uh, Hospital. And although he's done well the last several months, he is still receiving monthly infusions and is traveling back and forth between Florida and Duke Hospital in North Carolina. Mm. In addition, because of the aggressive nature of this type of brain cancer, it's unfortunately inevitable the cancer will return. Because of this, he is looking into trial opportunities in other hospitals in the United States so him and his family can be prepared for what happens. Uh, this means significant expenses related to traveling to and from these hospitals. Uh, Jimmy lives in North, uh, Wesley Chapel, Florida. His wife, Kim, who is an ER nurse, uh, their daughter, Alyssa, is nine. Um, Jimmy's been a firefighter paramedic for the last 15 years. He was dedicated his life to helping others. Uh, Jimmy has a heart of gold and is a friend to all who know him. Um, Tampa Bay Area Cruisers is asking for anybody to attend other clubs, Jeeps, Camaros, classic cars, Mustangs, airplanes, helicopters, whatever. Same thing we did for a 9 11. Right night. on, man. Um, uh, we, even they want Daniel Hopkins from, uh, from, <laughs> from the UK. To come over. Uh, Rocking Road Show will be there. We're going to set up a live remote. Um, I, uh, so in reaching out to, uh, to Micah, um, I have found out that Jimmy is actually not doing very well now. Oh, um, he, I just, I, so I went to the, the, the page, there's a update from the family. Uh, apparently Jimmy, uh, fell, um, and went to the hospital and in the, in doing so they've, they've got a bunch of other stuff. They're now looking at hospice. Oh, geez. So Jimmy, there is a possibility even that Jimmy may not even be able to make it to this event. Um, but the event is still going to go on. They're still trying to raise money for the family. So if you guys are out there and you can uh, show up to this event, please do. We're going to be there. Um, Sydney and, uh, and Norm just said that Fire and Iron Crew is going to be out there. So that's awesome. So come and hang out with us. It'll be an awesome event. Great music. Great food. Tons of vendors. I didn't. I was gonna list them, and I mean, there's just a. a that's ton good. That of stuff. That's good that there's a ton of vendors. So a ton of, of vendors. Uh, it's at the Salty Shamrock. Really cool uh, venue. Really wide open spaces. Um, a lot of place to put the, all those vendors and all kinds of stuff. So yes. it'll be a fun event. Um, Hopefully and, we're not right in front of the, the stage. Yeah. <laughs> right. And uh, yeah. So if you're if you're able to come out and hang out, if not, uh, I'm still trying to get. Uh, get a hold of that link for the uh, for the GoFundMe, uh, yeah. So that if you can't attend, uh, maybe you can help out the, right. uh, the Riley family. And even if you know, like I said, even if circumstances happen, still hit that that GoFundMe. Yeah, for sure. The family needs it. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do our best to do what whatever we can. Um, so, you ready for the next one? Uh, hold on one sec. So Sydney's saying Jimmy's a huge Bucks fan, and his bucket list would be going to the Super Bowl. There you go. There you go. So that'd be 
That's, That'd be a huge bucket list item. That'd be a huge bucket list. Um, so, I don't know if this will ever get to the Bucks in any way, shape, or form. But if someone can, if somebody could uh, do a little make a wish foundation for uh, for a uh, kick ass firefighter paramedic, right on, uh, first responders type that situation, would be awesome. that'd be awesome. Uh, okay, so before we go into the next one, uh, Dan, this was his uh, his what do you call it? Bike View News. Uh, 2021 brings you the new 2022 Indian FTR 1200 Retro Roadster, and wow, it's incredible. Already? Only one new redesign for their lineup, but still very impressive and oh wow, beautiful. Check it out on YouTube and their website. You know what? I, I saw something about, I, I did see something about the story and I, I didn't even, I didn't register that it was a, that it was 2022. I just like. Oh, we talked about we talked about all. We this talked stuff. about new bikes, but not that one. But not that one because that it's it's a, it wasn't a new right. add-on like right. we did. That's that was our that was our kind of stipulation right. for it, anyways. Um, Mr. Hopkins will find you a ride if you can if you can make it here. There you go. <laughs> that's right. We'll find. That's right. If uh, you can make it here, we'll find you a ride. That's right. Dan Lindbergh, I, I and I guarantee Dan can do it. <laughs> HD, I'm in for the slow race. If any winnings, they will be returned to the cause. Love awesome. It. Love it, love it. All right, so yeah, let's jump to the next event here. All right, so we got the uh, the next is uh, Battle of the Bay Scavenger Hunt. That's going to be Saturday, February 27th. Is that the same day? No, the 13th no. is the Oh, 13th, yeah. okay. Ooh. All right, so that's going to be at... Uh, uh, Brandon Harley Davidson is where it's going to kick off at. Uh, then we're going to go to Tampa Harley Davidson, New, Newport Richie Harley Davidson, and simultaneously, what? It's going to do all of them. They're going to. You can be so at it's going any to, one. It's going to kick off. Oh my! I read that all wrong then. So it kicks off at all three of those Harley Davidsons yeah. simultaneously, and then ends with an after party at Brandon Harley Davidson, which is good because they have actually the bigger space than, mm-hmm. than the three of them. Um, registration and sign up starts at 9 a.m. for any of the three locations, uh, with the hunt starting at 10 a.m. That's when the rules and item sheets will be handed out at 10, so they're not going to be handed out any earlier. Um, so the team captain will get all that. The teams must be back to Brandon Harley Davidson at three, I'd say before three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every minute after three deducts points to their total score. Now that's, that's, that's be there before three. All proceeds are going to be- benefit my Warriors place, which is an amazing, amazing charity. We yep. love them over there. Uh, so vendors, if you're interested, contact. Yeah, what is that? Terry W dot M W P at gmail dot com. Good, because I couldn't read that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's T E R R Y. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to learn more about my Warriors place uh, and their mission, please. Um, to provide a safe refuge uh, and bring about healing hope for the all veterans, military service members who have returned from the battlefield, also benefiting gold, silver, and blue star families and first responders. You can visit www.mywarriorsplace.org forward slash about, uh, about hyphen us. Yeah. I was going to say tack, but... Dash. <laughs> dash. I was going to say tack. I was yeah. going to tack, military. Tack works too. Uh Sydney's saying another great event. We did it last year. Yeah, I, I, I'd love to do this because it sounds like a lot it. of fun. Yeah. Um, Dan, I will do a U.S. special feature review of the event and interview the people involved with the causes to give the people the attention and praise they have worked for. Dan, that's awesome. That's man. awesome, brother. Um, all right. And then uh, the last event we have. Well, it's not really the Well, last not one. really last event. But we got one more after that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have the Ruckus on the Ranch. This is uh, April 9th through 11th. Ken uh, Smith. What's starting, up, man? <laughs> what's up, Ken? Uh, starts at uh, 12 p.m. Friday and goes to 6 p.m. Sunday. Uh, it's at 18733 Phillips Road in Brooksville. I'm not really sure. What, I, that's, I think it's just a big It's a big area. It's a full working ranch. Camping will be available. Uh, weekend passes are 60 bucks a person. Camping's not included. If you want to camp... Uh, they have about 50 spots. It's 30 bucks extra. They have 10 RV spots for $50. First come, first serve. Uh, you can go for the day if you want. Friday's 20 bucks. Saturday's 35 bucks. Sunday is 15 bucks. Uh, they have some VIP is available. $125 a person. $225 a couple. 
This includes four meals, 10 alcohol drinks in the VIP tent, a swag bag, a meet and greet with the musicians. Um, no coolers are allowed at the event. All alcohol will be uh, for purchase only. Um, you cannot bring your own alcohol to this event. No re-entry to the event, no refunds, um, because this is going to charity. Yep, so. how's it going, Matt? Matt Johnson. Hey, Matt, what's up, brother? Um, the bands are buttered, uh, Battered Chicken, Rebel Soul, Clint Byron. On Friday, Saturday is Angie Ray, Southbound 75, JT Curtis and the Florida Scoundrels, and Johnny Cash Tribute Show on Saturday. And then Sunday, Shadow Ridge and Skylar Clark. These don't sound like they're rock bands at all. They are not. This is a country music event. Country music festival. Country music. Okay. Uh, tickets. This is, this is not in my wheelhouse. <laughs> this is not in mine either, but that's all right. We can branch out every once in a while. <laughs> tickets will be available on Eventbrite, and the Eventbrite, li uh, Eventbrite link goes live on February 1st. We will link this on our page as well. This awesome. is brought to you by our good friend, uh, Miss Connie Lackey from Constance After Dark. So, right um, and then last but certainly not certainly not least is our event. Yes, the event we were planning alongside with uh, with the fine folks at Fire and Iron. Yep. Um, with uh, Norm and Cindy, we've been talking about this uh, via email the last couple of days. We're still trying to lock down a, 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 a venue site. Um, we think it's going to be. Harley Davidson at NPR in Newport Ritchie. Just not quite sure yet. And haven't really heard back yet. So we're still we're still in that phase. But um, it's going to be an awesome event. We're, we're looking to make it a event as well as a ride. So we'll be able to do two kind of things at once. Have some bands, have some vendors, have some have some fun with it. So we want to make this um, an all day event pretty much. Really? Yeah, it's going to be a it's going to be a deal. So um, if you know any uh, if you know any vendors, Put them in touch with us. If you know any uh, sponsors, put them in touch with us. Yep. We need um, sponsors. We need vendors. Um, we need we need people to help us. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need, and, and I think, I know the, the Fire and Iron crew will be I know happy Fire to help and us Iron. there. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so we're basically what we're trying to do is beat last year's um, donation. We were able to raise $8,000 for the Children's Burn Camp last year. So we want to do, uh, we want to double that. That's kind of my goal right Didn't now. Didn't you already talk with somebody and say they're in? Or was that for something else? Oh, yes. Uh, Wade Whiskey. Uh, I saw him. That's another one I forgot about Gip Town. Yeah. Uh, ran into Wade Whiskey at Gip Town and brought up the event to him. And he's like, I'm in. You got a guitar for me. So we'll be able to auction off another cool guitar from uh, Heartstrings from Heroes yep. and Wade Whiskey. So, uh, Wade, if you get this and you see this, thank you, brother. We appreciate it. We love you. Um, and uh, But, yeah, going to be an awesome event. We, we, are, uh, we are stoked. Um we're still trying to put it all together. We're trying to, me and me and this guy were talking about it yesterday. Yes, we want this thing to be done and set up and ready to go, six months out, so that we don't have to, you know, so that we're not really worried about it. We're right. just fitting we, in stuff. But we know that that things happen. Life happens. Yeah. So if we only have to change one, two, maybe three little items, we can do that. We can handle that. Uh, oh. Valerie's saying date, please. So that'll be, it'll be September, that weekend of September 11th. Seven, September 11th is a Saturday and it is the 20th anniversary. There you go. So it'll be September 11th, 2021. Yep. Um, that is, uh, yeah, and we just, we're still working on all the uh, details. We, but. Yeah, we're absolutely, we're, we're, I know that we're working on Harley Davidson, but there's an issue with that, that, that we have to think about. Yeah. So we're still... Thinking we're about fair. other locations as well. We're working on it, but yeah. So everybody asked. I, I, we the dates are, are September. It'll be a, a single day event, September eleventh. Yep, twenty twenty one. But yeah, like I said, vendors, uh, sponsors, anything like that. You guys, uh, you guys, let us know. Ryder now is on board. Perfect. That's awesome. Thank Love you that, very Valerie. much, Valerie. Thank you so much. Uh, Sydney, totally agree. Let's do. Let's get it organized. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, get it done. I know because. You know, we were talking about it too, and you know, Norm brought it up the other day. Uh, being that it's the 20th anniversary, this is going to be a big, a big day. So sweet, uh, you got U UAV in. UAVs in, perfect. Awesome. So look at that, man. Things coming together. We love, we love that. That's why we love this community. We love you guys. Um, we gotta write this down. Yeah, we'll get it all done. Um, <laughs> but uh, HD, great show, guys. Thank you, brother. Thanks, um, HD. 
like I said, man, uh, I will uh, I will put a link on our Facebook page for the Patreon for anybody that wants to wants to get on board with that and join up. Uh, if you don't, that's cool too. Uh, just something that we thought we'd bring to everybody to uh, to help us move forward. So uh, love the show and you lads. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Cheers. Hopefully, uh, man. Hopefully that 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 summer lockdown gets moved moved the other way oh, no for, you, for your guys' sake. So Dan, Dan, you know, speaking, you know, my family, um, we go back. We're we're Scottish, right? So my mom just got a dog, a little dog, and and uh, she named it Wean, <laughs> the Wean. The Wean. Yeah, so it, it's funny because you, you're like, what? Mm-hmm. Most 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 Americans would be like, what? Wean means the little one. And, and uh, I know that uh, Dan would appreciate that, so I figured I'd throw that out there. So there you have it. Um, I got uh, I got nothing else. I, I think man. we're good. I think we've pretty much um, beat this horse. Beat the horse. So uh, thank you guys. Thank you for everybody that watched. Thank you for everybody that commented and, and uh, participated in the show today. And even if you didn't, we thank you. We thank you as well for, at for least watching. watching. Um, if, uh, you know, something I always forget to say at the end of our shows um, this, uh, these episode, this episode and all of our episodes are also available in audio format and you oh, yeah. can get those on Apple iTunes or Apple podcasts, uh, Google podcasts, Spotify, uh, tune in radio, uh, I Heart radio. I mean, there, oh, we can go, we're, we're on I Heart. We're on I Heart radio. Oh, that's as well, awesome. So. so yeah, pretty much if, if you have you your, um, up there. if I know we need, I gotta, I gotta work on that. Uh, if, if you have uh, an audio, you know, if, if you like audio podcasts and you listen to them, we're probably on whatever whatever you use to listen to your podcast. So. Awesome. And if you have something that you use and, and you can't find us on it, let us know. I'll make sure that we're on it next time. So, awesome. Uh, other than that, uh, thank you guys. Thank you. We love you. Yes. We'll see you next week. Uh, maybe there might be an issue there because <laughs> I am on the road. I'm in, I'm in the Keys next week oh, and that's crappy uh it's crappy duty somebody's got to do it but the internet there isn't the best so mm. uh so we may do what we did last week and do a show a day early or we'll record something and put something up we'll just have to figure that out but yeah we'll figure something out but anyways we'll get it there we love you guys we'll see you soon thanks for hanging out you guys keep it rocking it's the rubber side down baby. bye guys we'll see you next week Peace. see ya